bad nowadays. It's not a problem that has appeared all of a sudden. It's a situation that has been getting worse from time to time, especially from the last, let's say, three years. Because of several facts, the first one is the lack of food and medical supplies, medical health uh, care, which makes people like they need to get out of the country to get health health care. They need to get out of the country to get vaccination. They need to get out of the country to get the basic supplies. Also, because of the minimum wage of the of the state. Even if most of the people that we find in Colombia had a job in Venezuela, they didn't get enough money to live on that money. And I mean, they didn't have enough money to buy their minimum supplies to get to get proper food, and all because of well the consequences of the regime that they have in Venezuela. In another hand, they have also this other kind of dangers that they live with, such as political dangers for those who decide to claim that they don't agree with the government or those who decide to get out to the streets and to march against the government. All these people are getting persecuted and are having trouble in Venezuela. That's why there's not only a problem of lack of food, of medicines, but also of lack of security of insecurity, but also politically, they don't have like freedom of speech. So, so this, all, all these things create an environment on which the lack of institutions, of supplies, but also of guarantees on the, on the human rights protections forces people to flee out of the country. The situation for those Venezuelans who decide to get out of the country is really difficult. In the first place, because most of them don't have a passport. Having a passport in Venezuela is really expensive and takes a lot of time. So most of the people that we find in Colombia had just crossed the border illegally, which means they didn't, haven't passed an official border. They don't have the documents they require to come to Colombia. And also, those who decide to come to Colombia, they do so because, most of them do so because it's the first country. We share a really long frontier, which makes the first place they need to get to get elsewhere in the continent. So some of them decide to come to Colombia in order to get make some money to go somewhere else in the continent. But others just come to Colombia because they are sick, because they need vaccination. Mother, they, the children need to be born in Colombia because mothers can have babies in Venezuela. They don't have the minimum supplies they require for having a baby. So people who come to Colombia are really people who are in need of a lot of things. They're the most precarious migrants that we can find. What about stateless children? This is a really important problem we're having here in Colombia because our constitution doesn't allow the youth study, which means those people who are born in the Colombian ground do not get automatically the Colombian nationality, which means that children who are born from Venezuelan parents, even if they are born here in Colombia, they don't get the Colombian nationality. If their parents, not automatically, they need to be in a regular situation with a special visa that they never have, because this is a visa that requires money and other things. And as I previously said, as these people is coming illegally to Colombia, they don't get the documents they need to to uh, I mean to fulfill all the requirements to get the Colombian nationality. So, in, in, as a consequence, these children are stateless because they can't either get the Venezuelan nationality. And this is important, this needs to, to be said. It's not because they are not Colombia that they are stateless. The problem is that they cannot get the Venezuelan nationality say in Colombia, because they need to get to the consulate, they need to get some papers that they don't have. They need some documents from their parents that they can't have here in Colombia. And they are not diplomatic relationships between Colombia and Venezuela now, right now. So they cannot be Venezuelan and they cannot be Colombian. So they are stateless children. And even if Colombia is part of most of the treaties um, regarding the stateless children and has some international obligations in this matter, Colombia hasn't done anything regarding these children. They have a document that says they were born in Colombia, but they are not Colombians. Every migrant and every person in Colombia has the right to access to medical care. But that's, that's the public medical care for only for urgencies. 
And that's really, I mean, that's a really bad system in which they can get only the minimum attention they, can, they need and they get vaccinated anyway, but they cannot go to school. They don't have any document identification and they are, we are really creating like a separated type of people, of citizens, because, well, they're not even citizens, but we, they are really living really apart from the society as their parents can be deported at any moment. So they are really stateless children and we have a, a really huge problem here as there are some places here in Colombia nowadays where there are more Venezuelans or children from Venezuelan parents being born than Colombians. There's, it's a really huge amount of people who is being born in Colombia without having the nationality or any other nationality. So we really have a problem there as they can ac they have access to some services like urgent uh, medical health care, but that's really, well, for a newborn, that's not enough and they don't have access to their identity, they don't have any documentation. It's really hard for them to live here without having access to any rights. And from the moment when the relationship between the two countries just broke, and I think things haven't changed dramatically. Just the, the only fact that has really changed and changes a lot of things is the fact that the official office from Venezuela here in Colombia is not working. So they don't have, they can send any documentation from Venezuela to Colombia. Before February, the, the, the office was working, but the problem was that any documentation could take like one or two years, any single document, official document, any passport. They had this time problem where they just took so long for them to have any documentation. So after, afterwards, what's been happen, happening is that they don't even propose to give you any documentation because they can't make it, they can't do it. So it's, it had changes a little bit in the way before they could offer a little help, but it wasn't from, it's been, it's been already, I can say more than five years that the office here in Colombia hasn't been working properly. They haven't been getting any consular protection, any help for those Venezuelans living in Colombia. Because the relationship, even if they broke in February, they had been really tense from, from a long time ago. So it has, it's worse now, but it hasn't been perfect from a long time. Uh, Colombia has adopted several exceptional measures to lead with this problem or with this massive arrival of Venezuela to Colombia. We have been granting those Venezuelans arriving to Colombia with a special permit that allows them to stay in the country for two years. The main problem with this permit is that one of the, uh, the, the things that they ask them to have is that they have to be in Colombia legally, which means they need to have come to Colombia with a passport. As I started saying, most of the Venezuelans don't have a passport, so this kind of exceptional measure, they can apply for it as they don't have, they don't meet all the requirements. But if they arrive to Colombia with a passport and in a time lapse that it has been taken like three or four times in a time lapse that I have decided, they can apply for a special permit that allows them to stay legally in Colombia, to work in Colombia, to get to medical health care and to stay in the country for two years. So they have, this is a special measure that has been taken. And you have to take into account that Colombia has never been an immigration country. On the contrary, we were more like an immigration country. So in this sense, uh, we were not prepared for this, for such as, as an important migration. And we had adopted this measure that uh, made some of the Venezuelans available for stay in the country. But the reality is that most of the people, most of the Venezuelans that we find in Colombia are now staying illegal in the country as they don't meet all the requirements that exist for having this special permit.